It's an incident that shocked a hate crime victim, but also management of a longtime Omaha company. A noose left on a seat of a floor scrubber used by a black employee four years ago. Oriental Trading Company fired the man who did it, and he served four months in federal prison. Six on Your Side investigates a new allegation that has surfaced involving the same victim. As Brian Master reports, the company believes the lawsuit has no merit. Why, why would somebody want to do that? It was my anniversary date, and they all know when I started. When I talked with Keith Kirksey four years ago about the noose left for him to find, he was distraught, scared. After all, his uncle had been hanged in a tree. The man responsible for the noose was fired and spent four months in a federal prison for violating his co-workers' civil rights. Keith Kirksey continued to work at Oriental Trading Company to support his family. Now, for the first time, we're hearing about another allegation of workplace harassment and intimidation. In court filings, Kirksey says two years after the noose incident, a different employee placed this clown head with a noose around its neck where he would see it. He said it made him fear for his life, so he reported it to Oriental Trading Company security. Kirksey alleges the company determined it was simply a joke. Both cases are part of a newly filed federal lawsuit. Keith Kirksey's attorney argues that Oriental Trading Company violated his civil rights for a hostile work environment, racial discrimination, harassment. The lawsuit points to a third incident, this one from last October, where Kirksey alleges a friend of the guy who went to prison would stalk, intimidate, and scream at him, and that the company did nothing to protect him. Again, the director of communications for Oriental Trading Company tells me they believe the allegations in this lawsuit have no merit. Spokesperson went on to say that the company believes in an inclusive environment that's safe for all employees. The company adds that it's proud of its role it played on identifying the employee responsible for the noose incident four years ago in what was described by the company as a senseless incident. Company spokesperson declined to comment on specifics in this lawsuit, saying it's out of respect for the employee. On your side in the newsroom, Brian Mastry, 6 News.